A massive fire right now in a West London tower block. Was... The blaze raced from the bottom to the top of the block in less than half an hour. Windows exploding, massive pieces of debris falling. You can see the building still burning now. When we started making this film, we wanted to focus on the curious tale of a, a quirky inventor who came up with a product that was wanted by businesses and governments. Since then, we've seen the harrowing incident at the Grenfell Tower. So has an opportunity been squandered to use Starlight in its many applications to protect our buildings and the people that live in them? This whole effort, this whole concept of uh of um, a starlight was, in fact, an interest to save people's lives. You know, the most obvious conceivable uh, illustration of that is Grenfell Tower. An absolutely terrible, terrible, terrible event. That could have been treated with, uh, with, with, with starlight. If they'd listened to my dad, when they put all that cladding on, it could have been painted there, don't need to take that cladding down in anywhere. All they had to do was spray paint it or paint it by hand and then paint the inside. It's such a shame that all them people died. It made me very angry and upset. Former colleagues of Morris, um, his daughter Nikki, have both mentioned um, the horrendous scenes we saw at Grenfell as an example of, of how something like Starlight could be used in a domestic setting. It seems to me obvious that you want to use Starlight to protect objects, be they buildings, cars, planes, people from high temperatures. The magic thing there is just that it's just lays dormant a thin layer until you need it and then it suddenly blows up. It's a bit like an airbag, right? An airbag for buildings or an airbag for objects. But in this case, it's, it's trying to protect you from heat, not impact. This material does that. No, we don't, we don't supply you the formulation. Yes. Yeah, if we, if we give the world the formulation, that's exit us. Morris was by nature a secretive fellow, and it is quite possible that he never told anybody exactly what went down to it, and that, uh, that in one way or another he found a way of, of keeping the secret to himself. That is, that's quite possible. We know that um, a company in America is, is developing their version of it, Thermoshield, and in, in the UK, Morris's uh, daughter, three of his daughters are, are trying to develop it as well. Do you think it could ever get to the point then where we can go to a shop and buy Starlight? It would have to be a lot better than the competition for that business to grow, in my view. You need proper tests to be able to define that. If they can prove that, they, they are going to do really well. And I would really, I'm cheering. I'm cheering for them that that happens. <laughs> I've not heard of anything which has been, which is so momentous in its application. And I think I would have done. I think we all would have done if it was out there. Your dad passed away in 2011 um, without ever bringing Starlight to the fore. Um, what are your hopes and aspirations for Starlight more than 30 years since your father created it? I would like it for him and everyone so it protected the people, the country. And I think sitting it in a corner, it's still no good. It's still no one any good. These days, what people do is open source invention and get the rest of the world to innovate around it. And I think it'd be a great legacy for Morris if actually the invention was just open sourced and everyone could just play around with it. As we followed the story of Starlight, we found it impossible to separate it from the story of its enigmatic creator. We've heard accounts of Morris's ingenuity and showmanship, but we've also learnt of his stubbornness and the frustrations of those who tried to work with him. So how should we remember Morris? The person who spots a new material at that moment of, of an accident, maybe, or, or, or because he's doing some experiments, uh, is, is a special person. And you know, it is sad to me that that moment for Morris didn't end up with Starlight in all of our lives, and I think it could have. If you take all the materials away from, from the world, all this stuff around us, we're just naked animals, you know? Inventing materials and then creating civilization is, is that is what we do as humans. <laughs> and uh, so uh, he was, you know, he was, he was as good as any on that front. In a way, the best thing about Starlight is, is, is the story itself of Morris 
and of the fact that anyone can invent something that could change the world and people shouldn't think they have to be in some exotic lab and have to have several degrees in order to change the world. His story tells you that it's possible to do something very novel, very new in your own garage. <laughs>